Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Stardew Valley. Yesterday, we did the Egg Festival and we won, got our new spunky hat. We also got a ton of strawberry seeds and that'll be useful for the next few days. It's another one of those regrowing crops, so. It's going to be beautiful and sunny tomorrow. Good channel, or good luck, good luck, good luck. Good humor, good. I do want that because I want to go to the mines today. And another Queen of the Sauce episode. Here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe for my secret cookbook. This week's dish is... Coleslaw! Envisioning bland mounds of limp cabbage? You're not alone, but a great coleslaw can be so much more. Make sure you have the fresh, juicy fresh cabbage for this one. Toss it in with a little vinegar and mayonnaise and you're all set. Ah, that's crisp. I hate coleslaw. It is a... It is rancid to me. Uh, we do have a lot of crops, so I'm gonna go ahead and plant or er, water all of these. So the plans for today, I definitely want to go to the mines to get as much ca- Oh, the cauliflower's ready. I didn't even realize it. It looks almost the exact same when it's growing. So plan for the today. For the today. I can finish off the crops bundle now, the spring crops bundle due to having this cauliflower. It's also nice that I'm not going to have to water it because I have all of the strawberry to water. Definitely going to go to the mines, get some copper. That should be about it. We do have our axe to grab, but I don't plan on using it immediately. I'll probably use it a bit tomorrow. And it's going to be one of the first items I want to upgrade to the next level as well. All right, and before I forget, I actually do want to make another scarecrow because I don't want to lose, what is it now, fiber? Was it coal as well? Yeah, one coal. Oops. Coal. I'm gonna grab the sword. I'll donate these artifacts later when we have more to donate all at once. And I'll grab, since we're going to the community center anyway, I'll grab all the fish that we need to donate. I'm also going to create... Jeez, I have quite the inventory here. Uh, I can get rid of one, two, three, four cauliflower. Keep one for the community center. Okay. I'm going to grab pine cone, maple seed. I have one acorn. Oh, geez, I, ha I thought I had more. Going to make a field snack for the road. Just because I'm going to need it. You'll notice we don't have, like, any. Oh, yeah, just saying, saying that we can finish that. We don't have, like, any energy from all that. Take the cookies. I'll use that. Okay, a golden spring onion. I can use that. Cool. I'm going to meet you at the community center. Ooh, ooh, before I forget as well, I need to find Haley today as well because it's her birthday. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. I didn't make my scarecrow. I told you, I get preoccupied very easily in this game, so expect that to happen a lot. Strawberries are very valuable, so I don't want them to go bad. All right, back in town. Hopefully I'm able to find Haley before she leaves her house too much. I don't know what her schedule is today. I hope it's easy. Don't eat her present, please. Daffodil is a liked item for Haley. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go to Clint and get my axe that I definitely have room for. I'll go to the community center and then we'll come back and hopefully she'll be ready. We're not going to get a ton of times in the mines because of this, but that's fine to be honest. All right, community center bundles. Let's do the fish ones first because we do have quite a bit. Shad, which can only be caught in the rain. That's it for... Th Wait, hold on. Did I see smallmouth bass? No. A lot of them that look similar, but not quite. Lake fish, we have the bullhead. That's it for now. Ocean fish, we have sardines. Once again, that's it. Specialty fish, nothing yet. Crab pot, nothing yet. Night fishing, we got bream. You can catch an eel in spring as well, so I'm going to want to grab that if I can. That's it for the fishing bundle. I'll go ahead and finish up our first crop bundle as well. Bit some cauliflower and boom spring crops are dealt with now i do still need those five gold oh man i wish i had gotten those yesterday 
I don't know if that's actually able to help out the strawberries at all, but eh, whatever. Oh, also, another note. Fertilizer only affects the first harvest of the multi-growing items. More stuff, yay. Of the multi-growing items, so it's only going to affect our first strawberries, unfortunately. Still helps, but, you know. Cave carrot, red mushroom for that. I think that's it there. We also have the construction bundle, which we can give both of the wood. We actually don't have enough stone for it, which is good because I didn't bring it anyway. And we need 10 hardwood, which we can actually get now that we have our upgraded axe, but that'll come later. Okay, so I know where I'll be able to catch Haley. She should be leaving her house to go to the river now. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, and I'll be where I'll be able to catch Haley. Monsters knows Dust Spirit are throwing an elemental balance in disarray. I would like the adventure to get. Ah, I'm not gonna be going there. Sorry, sorry, wizard. She so should be heading towards the fountain right now. Yep, there she is. I have a present that you'll like. You remembered my birthday. I'm impressed. Thanks. Daffodils is a liked item. Uh, unless we had gotten the coconut or the cactus from the traveling merchant, which she's also hit there today, but I think I'll skip out. We wouldn't be able to get her a loved item. But don't worry, the next birthday we will be able to get a loved item for, and it is... I mean, there's no reason for me not to take it. Pam. Yeah, she's easy to, easy to get a loved item, so don't worry about that. I still need to get my axe. Hello, Clint. Give me my axe. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to do your upgrades because it really does vary from person to person, depending on what activities you like to do. The axe means a lot to me, and our next upgrade is 5,000 gold and 5 iron bars, which we'll be able to get that ore soon. A lot of people prefer to do the watering can soon, but it's kind of low on my priority list just because I want to get sprinklers going soon. I will upgrade it, though. It will be important. Pickaxe is going to be my next choice for sure, because I'd like to be able to go to the next area of the mines without wasting too much proficiency or wasting too much energy mining things that are hard to break. Because you, as you do get deeper, think rocks do get harder to break. The ores take a lot more swings to break. So it'll just be nice for us to have an upgraded uh, pickaxe. Until then, though, I'm going to go today to just get a ton of copper ore. And that'll be able to fuel all of our all of our upgrades for the most part. We'll be able to get a few new, just to show this off, this only takes eight hits to break. And only four to break the stumps. So it's a lot more efficient now. It's really nice. Like I said, I do want to get that forging up one more, hopefully, maybe. Eek. What do I what do I prioritize right now? Oh, I forgot that we needed that forging level. I think I prioritize getting level four forging because we don't need the ore right now, but we are going to need the forging level tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, kill me now. Well, while I'm doing all this forging, and I, I, I'm so sorry, I just want to apologize right off the bat for how all over the place this episode has been, because I needed to, I need to do certain things between certain times, and I feel like I, I keep forgetting a lot of what I need at certain times, so I just wanted to go ahead and apologize for that. I'm actually going to create another field snack, or wild seed, just to sell. But I just want to, I, I got to show all this off. So sorry about that. Anyway, now that we have the bronze axe, we are able to destroy these stumps. These give us a resource called hardwood. Not only that, but it gives us a ton of experience. Still not level four. So I'm going to focus on taking out these stumps for now. Now those logs that we saw on our planting ground that can have the sprinklers, those we still cannot break. Those will be the iron axe, or the steel axe, I believe it was called. Hey, we just got level four. Look at that. Despite the fact that we just got level four, I think I'm going to continue taking out all these stumps because I feel no reason not to. Is our... <gasps> our silo got finished. I'll go out and check that now, but 
Now that we have the silo, cutting this grass will actually be useful for us because it can store all of our hay. That's the main use of all this grass. So that's when I told you not to cut down the grass yet, that's why. And I want to say each silo you have can store five hay or so. Or not five, geez, I'm dumb. 150. So I'm actually going to spend a little bit of time cutting all this as well. Ooh, we got a mahogany seed from that one. That's a new seed in version 1.5 that can grow a special kind of tree. This has me excited. I'm absolutely planting that. That's one of the seeds that I'm not going to be using for anything else. So I'll plant it right here, very close to the rest of our farm so I don't forget which seed it is because they can blend into the others. Wow, I really used all I could for this day. Pretty much no energy left. I got another mahogany seed, so I'm going to plant that as well. And let's take a look at our finished silo. So I guess judging on how long that took to grow, I believe that it takes three days for a building to finish. There it is, finished. Out of the way, not in the way at all. So that's nice. Hmm. Look at all this stuff I got. Okay, I'm going to organize my inventory and we're going to go to bed. Alrighty. Tomorrow, we will go to the mines for sure, I promise. Level 4 foraging. So we got extra axe proficiency. We can make a charcoal kiln and wild seeds for summer, which is the foraging recipe for that. The important thing is the plus one wild berry harvest. And that's important now specifically. Look at all that money. We actually got quite a bit. It's nice. Selling those wild seeds is super useful. Weather report. What do we got tomorrow? Beautiful and sunny. Fortune teller. We got... Annoyed. Oh, I hate everything. Of course. Living off the land. It's salmon berry season all across the countryside. Bushes are teeming with juicy little berries. And they're free for the taking. Harvesting them is a great way, way to earn some extra cash. I'm not harvesting them for the cat. Oh. Please give me gold parsnips. There's one, two, three. I need one more. Nothing. You really do hate to see it. Oh, come on. Hello, dear. I know you're just getting started as a gardener so, gardener, so I wanted to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season. When summer arrives, your spring crops will all die out, so plan ahead from Evelyn. Well, that's neat. I'll put away all of these un <laughs> undesirable parsnips. That gives us four golden parsnips. We need one more for that quality crops bundle. Man, you hate to see it. And given that we have annoyed luck today... I, I don't think I can go to the mines. You know what? Mm. No, I'm going to go to the mines anyway. Our strawberries are starting to come up as well. All right, well, goals for the day. We do need to plant a few more parsnips. I'll do... I'll do... Five. We still have plenty of days left. Parsnips only grow in four days. They're not that useful for gaining money. So I think that's a fair assessment there. Hmm. What else do I want to do? Obviously, we're going to start harvesting these salmon berries, which grow from these bushes. And you'll notice that we're getting two. You'll only get two if you have... Oh, look at that. You'll only get two if you have at least level four. And if you're somehow able to reach level eight, which I think you could do... If you get to level five, there's certain foods that will give you a plus three to your foraging level. So you theoretically could get three salmon berries right now, but it's going to be super rare. So I'm going to get a bunch of salmon berries. I'm going to, why is it snowing outside? Why does this have to happen to me when I record? I'm gonna get those salmon berries. I'm gonna keep these green beans as just gifts to give to people. They're not that valuable. And we're gonna go to the mines to get some copper ore. That's the plan. 
Hey, this is Future Robert coming in to explain a little bit about the salmon berries real quick. So the bushes that salmon berries spawn in are set from day to day. So you will for sure find salmon berries in all the places I'm finding them. And I'm showing the sequence so that you can get an idea of where they are. Mostly you're going to be checking cinder sap forests, but they spawn all over town, in the mountains, above your farm, in your farm, anywhere. However, this does not affect your foraging level. You do not get experience for it. It's all for the salmon berries, baby. Oh no! Jas doesn't like green bean. Most people like crops. Most people do. Jas must not. Oh lord. Well, so you're wondering probably why I'm going out of my way for all these salmon berries. Well, if harvested diligently, they give you 25 energy and 11 health. They can be a nearly limitless supply of food. And like, oh, don't want to miss that. They only take up one slot in the inventory, so they're useful for that as well. It's Monday. Thank God it's not Wednesday. I, I would have I would have lost my bean if it was. I'm going to continue to harvest just as we go. I'm not going to get super crazy with it. Hey, Marnie, surely you like green beans. You're an adult. You like green bean. Thank you. See? See, people like green beans. Ugh, jeez. Gave it to the... Like, I, I guess the kids have a very peculiar like list, given that they are children. Need a ruby on your sword to... I doubt I'll be able to find it, but it's 750 gold. How can I say no? Anyway, like I said, I do want to plant those parsnips just to guarantee that gold one. We do have plenty of time, so I don't need to plant a ton at once to guarantee it because we'll have like three more harvests over the week. Oh, hey, or over the month, I mean. Why do I want to became, become a farmer? Hmm. I wanted to escape my old life. That's pretty much the reason I came here, too. I believe that's one of the questions that she gains affinity with you for. I wish Abby wouldn't spend so much time in her room. Anyway, I'll go plant you... I'll go plant those, and I'll meet you back in town. Because we do have more salmon berries to harvest, and I do want to show you where they spawn. There we go. All done there. I'm going to deposit a lot of our stuff here. And I'll use salmon berry as my main food when we get into the mines. I'm going to take a roundabout way up here just to get any forageables that may have grown there as well. Like these two. Oh, the mother load. That's so out of the way, though. Yoinky. Ooh, rice shoots. I'll make sure to plant those sometime soon. Is there really no berries up here? Huh. Peculiar. But yeah, you can see I was able to get 50 salmon berries through this one day. Imagine doing that. So they, they grow for like three days, three or four days, I forget which. Imagine doing that every day. Imagine having a survival burger, which is one of the items that can increase your foraging by three levels and getting three of those every day. You could get easily 200. Anyway, so I've never really actually not talked while I was doing all this. Hmm. I'm gonna put in all my tools just so I'm able to get things. And also, before I forget, let's go to floor, what is it, 20? I'm gonna go fishing here. Now, I actually don't wanna speed this up for a second because I want you to hear the noises that occur when you go mining because I realized this while I was mining and I knew I was speeding up. Mining has one of the most satisfying sounds in the whole game. And y'all haven't heard it yet. Now I am using a regular fishing pole, so this might actually take a hot second. Oh boy. I do have the fishing level to get this, right? You know what? I might not have the fishing level to get that. They just plain won't show up if that's the case. Also, I realized that I left my pickaxe in here because I'm very, very smart. All right, so we'll go to floor, I think 25 or 21, you get a nice floor for grinding. 
Yeah, you can just come in here, check and see if there's anything, leave, and then immediately go back down to check for ore. This is a very time, good time, oh, she's really three quarts. A good time way to get these. So, just because you haven't heard the mining sounds before. Isn't that just the best? Isn't that just great? Now, I know my bad luck will actually affect our ore spawns, but that'll be fine. Uh, I don't feel the need to show you all this through a speed-up section, since it's areas we have been before. It's very likely that we're not going to see anything new. I'm really just going to be going through the same few floors to find copper, so... I'll see you at the end of that. Unless something interesting happens, I'll show that, but otherwise, eh, you know. Okay. Well, I just walked in here and there's two topaz spawns, which are pretty universally liked items and can be sold for a good amount of money. Just a note that you do actually have to completely leave the mine to get items to respawn. Otherwise, it'll stay the same as if you just explored it. <gasps> what? I didn't even know you could get that this soon. Diamond is one of the best items in the game to get because it is a universally loved item. Oh, here's an infestation live for you. We saw it for a brief moment before. It's a good way to, if you need to grind the enemies that spawn in an infestation, it's a good way to grind that because they do count for those monster hunting quests, of course, but also like you get, I think bats a little later on, which we, saw a few of at the end of the mines because they spawn in the dark area but hey you just get bugs here they can be gr grinded for that mission but also bug meat which isn't great but if you need if you need bait that's the way to get it all right it's 10 p.m i think i'm gonna call it there i didn't get a ton i got 14 which is enough i only needed five to get another copper bar i'd like to what am i gonna leave here i guess i'll take all of this my items of course oops uh mixed seeds can just get thrown out i'm not gonna plant any more of those because if i want to plant something it might as well be the strawberries uh what else can go if the fiber can go oops I meant to throw it away can i not throw anything away immediately Weird. Oh, I don't need that. And my scythe. Uh, the rice shoots. I'll leave the algae because I don't need it, obviously. Take the bug meat. Cool. I think that ought to do for today. I'll meet you back in the farm when we clean up a little bit of what we need left. Okay, we're back here. Uh, first of all, organize my inventory. Yes, I know I'm really bad at that, doing that consistently in a lot of other games, but hey, I'm going to do it here. So I want to say these few spots are really close to water. I'm actually going to hoe like this ground, and I think all of those should be irrigated. Actually, you know what? I have a better spot that's not dumb and out of the way. If I just grab, look at this, look at how close that is. All of this should all get irrigated, so I'll just plant my rice here. Look at that, easy. And I'll put these in. I need coal. I have coal, right? Easy. Those will be ready tomorrow. I should be able... I'm just going to clean up my inventory a bit. You know what? I'm actually going to sell the topaz just to guarantee that I'll have... Oh, I sold all the parsnips. Never mind. I'll definitely have enough money. I just want to guarantee that I'll have 2,000 tomorrow so that I can upgrade another item. Anyway, let's go to sleep. Nothing else. Level 3 farming. We got a watering can, efficiency, hoe efficiency. Bee house. That'll be nice for summer some speed grow that we can now make in a farmer's lunch which probably increases your farming level and level two combat plus five hp and we can make life elixirs i'll check out those tomorrow more than enough money look at all that 
43 silver. Yeah, it's probably one of the cheapest crops to get. Also the cheapest to buy, so it works out. All right, we'll do one more day here today. Tomorrow will be beautiful and sunny. Now, if it was going to rain, I'd probably, I wanna do my pickaxe right now, but I'd probably do my watering can because you do need a rainy day if you wanna guarantee all your crops won't die. Very happy, ugh, figures, figures the day after we go mining. That's fine. Well, I'm gonna water all my stuff. So goals for today, I'm going to go and upgrade my pickaxe. Then I think if we have enough money left over from that, which we absolutely won't, I'll go do some fishing. I wanted to buy the new fishing rod today, but that won't happen. Other than that, I don't have a lot of things. Oh, oh, and obviously we need to go and re-forage all of those berries because it's always nice to have a huge stack of berries. Dear neighbor, I hope you're feeling settled in your new home. I'm writing to let you know Pierre's store is now set selling fertilizers on day 16. Why don't you swing by and see if you can afford a dozen boxes or so. I don't need fertilizer. What are those crafting recipes we just got? Speed grow, which is pine tar and clam, both of which we can't really get. Ooh, I'd like to make some tappers soon. I don't, I didn't realize that we got those. I don't remember when. We can make life elixirs now, which is red, uh, three, four different kinds of mushroom. Absolutely not worth it. I would say don't even bother with that. Yes, it can heal you, but at what cost? Bee house, we have wood, coal, iron bar, and maple syrup. Again, that's not worth it to us yet. We need to tap anyway. Okay. How many copper bars do we have? Six. Well, we don't have enough to do that. I'm going to grab items to give to Gunther. We'll break open these geodes. Also, always make sure to break your geodes open before you actually start upgrading an item because you won't be able to do that until it's done. I think that'll do it. Man, I have so many items here, but I have no leaks to break these all into seeds. So it's like, what's the point? I'm gonna have to start separating a lot of this out as well. I might make a separate box for farming items. So like seeds and fertilizer could go in there. That would clear up a little bit of room, certainly. Hmm. You know what, I think I might strike off fishing from the list of things to do today. Nah, nah, I'm gonna go fishing. I'm gonna go fishing for sure. Yeah, never mind. This is a day that I'm really not 100% sure what to do with since we're going to be upgrading our pickaxe. Actually, you know what? Now I think about it, I don't think salmon berries grow every day. My to-do list is going to be so messed up. Anyway, what if, what fertilizers is pure? Ugh. Kill me now. I was curious what fertilizers they're going to be growing. We can grab any salmon berries that we missed at least. We should also go to the beach just to make sure. You know what? I know what we should do. We have 300 wood and I know what to put that towards. All right, well, we'll still do some fishing. Oh, I need that actually for the bundles. So that's nice that we got that. Yo, Clint, what is poppin'? Break open my geodes. See if we can't get anything else for the library. I've already turned that in. Coal, you always love to see coal. As time goes on, coal's going to be a lot more Hey! Iron ore, huh? Not that we, not that five is a particular high amount, but it's still nice. And we'll upgrade our pickaxe because I definitely want that before we start exploring deeper. And once we start getting iron ore, which is the next ore, that's useful in so many recipes. So we'll be able to do a lot with that. Anyway, I think we have enough items to where we'll get another reward today. Not sure about that. Diamond, aquamarine, and the rusty spur, the rest we'd already gotten. I think I wanna order this a little bit. I'll make this all like gems just to make it look nice. 
uh, quartz can go there as well. Little old fossil stuff can go there. We'll put dwarven items down here. I guess earth crystal counts as a stone. That's limestone. I don't know. It's ugly enough to not matter. Seed is a bit of a weird one. It'll just be nice. Just It's so easy to organize. Why not, you know? And we got Night on Eco Hill painting. I don't even know if we have enough room to really display that properly. Oh, God. Gordy, how do you catch so many fish? For me, it takes forever. You must make the choice to become a true fisherman. And over time, your fishing speed will increase. So you're saying that improving my fishing skill will make me fish faster? Correct. One day you may even learn the secret to creating your very own bobbers. Improving your mastery more. Now be gone. Yeah, a little bit of stuff about fishing. That's... Sorry, I have like a burp in my throat. You... what You wouldn't like this. Right? Right? I don't know. Well, that basically means that we're not going to be able to go mining for a little bit. I'm not giving you trash. Be careful about that. Won't let you have any more gummies. What a shame. Now, what am I going to do? We don't, unfortunately, have enough for the other... Oh, I can do that. I'm actually going to go back to the farm and get some wood so we can repair that. I don't have enough for the other fishing pole. How much exactly is that so I can plan around that? 5 It's 1800 That's so much. Man, so expensive. And we don't unlock the next rod after that until level six. So it's really, you're going to want to get that that rod for all the time in between. I'm going to go back to the farm. I'm going to organize my inventory a little bit more and then we'll come back and have some wood. I'm also going to put this iron ore in. It'll take a lot longer than copper due to the fact that it's a rarer item, but that's fine. We're not in any rush. Beautiful. That actually fills in the wall really nicely. All right, now that we have all this wood, I'm gonna try and talk to Elliot as much as I can. Great idea can pass through your head when you least expect it. Yeah, it's hard to find him. With 300 wood, we're able to fix the bridge. And why is this useful, you may ask? Well, it's just really, really good for forgeables. Look at all of this. I don't recall if these specific items increase your foraging level at all. I'm fairly certain they do. But the sea urchins, if you get them as a, at a high level, they sell for so much. I'll check tonight, because I'm definitely going to put those in. But I'm not exactly sure how much. And for the rest of the day... I think we're just going to go fishing. This is a little shiny spot, by the way. So what a shiny spot does, I'm going to back up and recast that. Gets you higher quality fish, and they're more likely to bite. Gonna sell off the items we've gotten so far. You can also sell sea urchins and look at that. 160 for one. Ridiculous. Three coral, they're all silver, so they're a hundred each. Clams are worth a little bit. I believe I should be fine to sell all these. I should actually check. You can check community center bundles from your inventory whenever you want. Flounder's not in the ocean fish, no. So I think we're fine to get rid of that no matter what. I'd like to do some night fishing today. Uh, river fish. Yeah, okay. Just making sure. You never know. Wanted to get rid of all this before we ran out of time. Bait's only one gold each. Don't even bother selling it. That got us a lot of money, actually. Wow. Okay, well, gonna continue. Okay, well, we got a lot of good fishing done today. Uh, oh, 
So these are our first Iridium quality items. Iridium, we saw that Iridium ore that was for sale at the sh traveling shop the other day. It is one of the best things, and uh, as you can see, it's also one of the best qualities. I don't quite remember what the multiplier is on that. I want to say it might be 1.8. I don't think it's 2.0. It's hard to find like information sometimes for these things. I actively tried to find it, but it's hard to find. But yeah, that's the best quality. And you know what? It is 2.0 times. Like it's double the price. I'm looking, so I always have the wiki opened up no matter what, by the way. And uh, I was able to find that just from looking at it, oddly enough. So I'm going to sell all this. Flounders are worth a ton. That's going to be so much money. I'm excited. I don't normally show the ending screens at night whenever we end, but I think I will tonight just to show you how good that is. Put away all that. All that. That still gives us a geode. Oh, put that away. Hmm. And we could put fishing tackle in. Now I realized that if we want to do get one of the fish that we need for night fishing, it actually has to be on a rainy day. And I didn't realize this, but that's fine. I'm going to make so much money tonight and I'm very excited. But I'll see you all next time. We're going to be getting our new pickaxe. We might be able to go deeper in the mines in the next episode. I'll see you all then, and good night.